I very much understand and respect the men and women in blue. Blue lives matter. But that does not mean that I have to agree with the policies that they are being forced to abide by. I actually think those policies are very harmful to the officers you say I don't respect. Look, they are arming you to the teeth. And then have you noticed in Ferguson and in Baltimore, they didn't let you, they had no-go zones. You're armed to the teeth, so you look provocative, and yet they're holding you back. Why do you think they're doing that? Why? Why? They are causing the American people to lose trust in you. Nothing you're doing is making the American people lose trust in you. This is orchestrated, and we must know what's going on and what the end of the road is. If we were just sitting here talking about violence and what we arm people with, you and I could have a very reasonable conversation. But that's not what we're talking about. We are talking tomorrow about what, who this guy is. Who this guy is, the guy who put into motion the militarization of our police force. When you see him in the progressive era and what it has led to, what happened in the 1960s and 1970s, and now this coordinated effort with the president saying, we need a well-armed police force, a well-armed civilian force, I guarantee you it will not be the local police. The president just said, I'm taking some of this military equipment away. No, he's not. No, he is not. What he really did was say, I'm not going to sell you tanks. Well, I hope that the police aren't saying that they need tanks now. We got that. And he said, no grenade launchers. I don't know a cop that says he needs a grenade launcher. So he's leaving you. He's creating the impression he says you're out of control, because remember, the police act stupidly. So he's creating the impression that you're out of control, that you have too much stuff, when in reality, he's not taking any of that stuff away. His people are holding you back while they are calling for the Justice Department to take over local policing. Don't you see the game that is being played and the cops are being set up? By God, man, I'm your best friend because no one else will talk about this.